Good morning, Warriors. Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2. Hope everybody's on their purpose, doing well. Hope you guys are moving ahead with your goals. This is, uh, what is this, March? <laughs> oh man, this is Friday. I'm not, I have to look at the date. I think it's March 8th. <laughs> Yes, I believe so. March 8th. March 8th, 2002. So hope you guys are doing well today. And thank you once again for all the subscriptions, comments, likes. I'm sitting here kind of waiting uh, for someone to come in to the car. So I got a few minutes. We're going to do a video and kind of uh, talk about going back to the issue that um, Shabham and, um, and Harold, a bunch of people brought up. And I like this issue. I want to talk about this more. Um, Shabham had a nice comment and question. Um, talking about um, muscle and weight and mass. So we're going to talk about this a little bit because I enjoy this as, as a phys physics teacher. I enjoy kind of talking about this. And show him I've actually um, I did get I did get your message. Um, it's not a good email. It's not my email. So please, we'll talk if you want to talk privately in uh, the chat. I'm still going to try to do a. Um, uh, like a stream or something like that. We're going to do a live stream at some point here. Maybe I'll do it over the summer as we get closer and I get uh, a little more time. We'll talk about some of these issues so we can kind of talk more one-on-one -on -one with each other as well. Uh, so, but it's a great question to ask again. So let me kind of talk about, this is, uh, we're going to talk about the, the relationship between weight, uh, mass, muscle, uh, and energy. So these are the three, these are the four things that are important. Now, I'm going to go a little bit technical, only going back to Einstein's theory. Um, now, the whole idea is, is that mass is kind of, you can look at like at mass is kind of like stored energy, okay? It's like energy being stored. So whatever mass you are at, say, for example, you're at 200 pounds, you're at a certain mass, okay? That is energy inside of you, okay? And as you kind of work out more, you change that mass into muscle. And muscle weighs more than mass, weighs more than fat does. So you could actually gain a little weight, and though you may feel stronger and lighter, you may actually weigh more. But the energy is very consistent with the mass. Now you may lose a little bit of, of mass here and there if you lose, you know, start losing or gaining energy. But the thing is, is as you are stronger, you're able to um, do more things. You feel more energetic. You have a lot more energy within you because you're stronger. And this is because now the muscles are going stronger and now you're building muscle. And this is what happens when you when you retain. You're building muscle. So your mass will turn into a lot of energy. Now, there's a difference between what they call potential energy and kinetic energy. Kinetic is moving. Potential is sitting there. So as a mass, 200 pounds, you might be sitting there and your energy level is high. It's, it's 200 pounds worth of energy close to it, right? And then as you start gaining more weight, theoretically, you'll have more energy. But you end up feeling tired because your energy is not being used. It's potential. And because you're so heavy, you're not moving around. And so you're not using that energy. That energy becomes potential energy, and now you're not moving. And so as you work out more... You'll drop a little, you'll drop some mass, but you're also gain some energy. You may not, you actually may, like I said, build muscle. You may not lose that much mass, but you will see more energy. The energy is there. It's just a matter of whether you're using the energy or not. Now, how can you lose energy? Okay. And this was the action, I, this is the question I think Shubhan was talking about. Um, Shubham was talking about the fact that you feel lighter even though your mass is the same. And technically, you can feel lighter. You can feel lighter um, because you're now building muscle. And now you're, you're doing more things because you feel stronger. The mass is changing from potential to kinetic. 
and now kinetic means it can be moved. It's not gonna, you're not gonna lose energy. You're just, you're just transferring it from potential to kinetic. So when people eat a lot and they don't do anything and they sit down, they're gonna fall asleep because they're not doing anything with that energy. That's the whole key. The key is what you're doing with the energy. Now, of course, on your retention plan, if you're saving your energy, you have a potential to be stronger. But guys, you can't just sit around and watching videos, even if you're retaining, you're gonna not see that, you're gonna get frustrated. In fact, you may get so much energy, you're not doing anything with it. You may feel a, a lash back. You may, you may get a power back with this because you're not doing anything. This is why we always talk about the fact that the, it, it's good to retain. You need to do that. You need to keep your nutrients, but you also have to do something with it. The same thing comes to emotional stress, all these energy suckers that can suck things out of you. You have to be aware of those, but you also have to use the energy you have in a positive way. So in fact, you can feel a little lighter even though you have more muscle. Even though your mass may not change all that much. The potential is what you're using now is you're transferring potential to kinetic and actually doing something with that energy. Now, of course, if you release, well, now your, your energy is leaving the body and your mass will probably go down a little bit. But remember, mass is correlated with energy. But here again, it's what you're doing with the energy that makes a big difference. It's not the fact that sitting there is potential energy. It's what you're doing with it. And if you're transferring it into muscle, if you're working out, if you're doing things, then you become a lot stronger. You also feel lighter. Now, whether you're in reality lighter or not, you're probably not. The mass is gonna be very similar. But the fact of the matter is, you've turned the muscle into fat. In fact, you may actually weigh a little bit more. As I said, because the muscle is heavier than fat is, weighs more than fat. But the idea is what you're doing is transferring that energy into kinetic energy instead of keeping it and just sitting around. So what am I really kind of saying in summary on this? That mass and energy are similar. You could talk about mass as almost being stored energy. You've got a bunch of energy sitting there. And the more you eat, if you go up to from 200 pounds to 300 pounds, you're sitting there with 300 pounds of energy. But because people get feel heavy and they eat, now their first perception, natural reaction is to rest. The food is working in their body. And so now what they're doing is sitting there and they're tired. Well, they think they're tired because the food is being digested to the fact that they're trying to work on that, that body doesn't feel like moving around. That's why it's very crucial that if you do eat, and you do like a pig out or some kind of cheat day, go out and take a walk, exercise. Do something right away to offset that feeling. That's the important thing to do. Because what you're gonna do then is you're gonna to continue to have your body recognize that you wanna continue using that energy for something. But when you watch a lot of people, the reason why you have a lot of people who are obese and, and, and out of shape is because what they do is that they eating a lot of processed food, they eat a lot of carbs, a lot of sugars, and what they end up doing then is sitting around and they'll play video games and the more they eat, the more they sit around, the less act activity. And as you get older, I don't know this from my age, you have to make sure you watch not only what you eat, but how you're exercising and moving around. And if you could do that, then the mass transfers into potential from potential into actually kinetic and muscle. And so you're actually creating muscle from all this fat that you have. And we have lots of fat, all of us have some fat, whether it's 10% and the great athletes or 20, 30%. We all have some sort of, of fat that we have to turn into muscle. And so that's the key. Now, this is why, why do we not release? Well, you want your body to have those nutrients to be able to function strong so that when you're able to exercise and work out, 
you have those nutrients to build your muscles. If you're depleted all the time and you have no ability to build muscle, well, you know, you're going to continue, your body's going to store energy. It needs energy, right? But you're going to be lethargic. You're going to be tired. You know, you're going to be out of it because all you're doing is releasing. And this is why you get exhausted, just like when you overeat. It was a good question from Sean Bahamut, by the way, anyway, because I had to kind of think about this a little bit. But that's kind of my interpretation of what I'm seeing with all these type of topics. This is why you may feel lighter. I mean, you're going to be stronger, but you may feel lighter, even though in reality, your mass really doesn't change that much. Energy and mass are very similar. What you do with the energy will change things. If you go ahead and you work on a program in which you're watching your diet, if you watch your, your nutrients you're putting into the system, if you keep your nutrients, if you're exercising, if you're doing all those things to keep yourself fit as much as possible through the years, you're going to transfer as much of that potential energy in the, into, um, into kinetic energy. Now, I've actually gone to eat more oatmeal myself. And though it has carbs into it, it's actually got the kind of carbs and enzymes that I've done research with that actually helps with the belly fat and things. And, and at my age, a lot of us, especially German, Polish people as we are, we, we, we gain a lot of weight within the stomach. And that's one of the worst types of, of fats you can get. So I have to, I have to continue to battle and work on that to get back to get my six, uh, six pack of abs that I'm looking for. So these type of, type of things, guys, is what you're trying to do is you're trying to think about things and how they work and how well that it can help you in the long run. And so we talk about this thing, but I think it's a great question to look at, and it's a great idea here. When you guys eat, you're going to get energy. The question is, I mean, this is what food is for. Food helps you give energy. That's why we eat food, right, to do it. But eating food doesn't mean you're going to be able to be healthier. In fact, a lot of times it makes you less healthy if you're not working and doing those things to make it easier for you to build muscle and to do things. You'll see that when you do drink water, for instance, you will feel lighter. Whether your mass changes or not, you will tend to feel lighter because everything is now being flowed through your system. But the nutrients you keep in your system, they allow you to build that muscle. And that's why you see people, and you've seen it, I've seen a lot of YouTube shows, people who do retain, retain especially when you're younger, you know, you build that muscle. You can see it. You know, we it takes longer as you get older to kind of build the muscle back. But the muscle's never gone, my friends. The muscle's always still there. The fat is covering over the muscle. But if you don't use it, of course you're going to lose it. And this is why there's the old adage, as you get older, you should be less active, I think, is the opposite. You should be more active. But that scares a lot of people. I always remember, go back to the, this kid's show I watched with my kids when they were growing up. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And you had these parents who sat in a bed for eight years and they couldn't move. So much atrophy because they could not move a muscle. You have to use the muscle. I see people at the YMCA and they're, they're 90 years old exercising. I give them, bless them, give them a lot of credit, guys. You guys understand. You got to keep using that muscle. Now, as you, as you, are you as strong as you were when you were 20? Of course not. But you still got energy and you're still building. And that's the key. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll try to do it on the weekend on the Fountain of Youth. Uh, until then, guys, battle on and God bless you.